Lecture, I'm going to discuss about how to update Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio or SSMS on Windows operating system. So for this one, internet must be connected. And now let's open the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio SSMS. And now let's click on this connect. So here I'm using 19.1%. And you need to wait for a few seconds. There you can get the option for update. So here you can see automatically update option that's come there. So you need to click there. Then this is now checking here. SQL Server Management Studio. So install 19.4 version and latest version here 19.3. So this is the old version and this is the latest version. Now thereafter click on this update. So when you click on this update, this is now migrating on Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and this place you can see here or uh, this or uh, uh, that's come there. You need to click this and from there the file is now uh, start downloading. So this is the file is now downloading. So you need to wait for few seconds. So this is the first way and if that uh, update option that's uh, not available then simply uh, go there and write this place SSMS. SSMS right there. Then you can go on this microsoft.com site and this place you can also get this software. So download SSMS if you scroll down here you can see or free so you, by clicking this you can download the software so this is the progress is now this will take some time so i'm going to pause the video the file download completed there after the next thing is first you need to close this ssms and there after click this here that's completed now you need to click on this exe file And now you need to click on this install. And here Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio with Azure Data Studio. So this is now currently loading package. And now you can see this is the Microsoft Visual Studio tools for application 2019. Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio with Azure Data Studio setup completed. Let's click on this close and close. And when I open this SQL, here you can see the version 19.3 that's come there. Okay, so it was 19.1 and after processing this all steps, now the version that changed. So this is the most simplest way we can upgrade or update SSMS. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.